People who support war make money off of killing people. They literally transform human beings into money. They kill human beings and that turns into money and money's energy. So what that means is they're vampires. That's what they really are. They're vampires. They are they convert human energy through destruction into cash and then they use that cash to make their lives better just like <coughs> vampires sink their fangs into people suck the blood to stay alive it's the same thing it's vampiric it's a vampiric form of existence and um it's really fucking terrifying when you realize that it's a hundred percent true they're not only is it 100% true, it doesn't seem to be any way to get them out, other than them dying and young people taking their place. Young people who grew up with the internet. Yeah, well... It seems like a certain amount of the way the system is, it's like they've sort of just accepted it, you know? And everyone's accepted that it's, a, it's just a fuck wash. But you, but you have to think, I, I don't think that they're unaware of, the fa of where, they're, where they're fallible. I think they know where they're fallible. But they can't correct it. I, I think that they maybe they know what they're doing in a really intense way because they've had infinite amounts of money to study human psychology and to understand how to control populations, and they got it down to a science. Man, there's a great fucking documentary on the BBC called The Century of the Self. Have you seen that? No. Edward Bernays. It's this guy Bernays who is like Freud's cousin, and um, it's all about the uh, ways that they started studying how to manipulate uh, the perception of populations for the sake of corporations. So, for example, cigarette companies approached Bernays and they're like, listen, women don't want to smoke right now because they think it's too masculine. What do, you th what do you think we can do to make it so that women want to smoke? And so Bernays said, well, you need to make women feel like it's a form of activism or they're like pushing against uh, uh, <clears throat> male-dominated culture. It's like a, make it part of the woman women's rights movement. So... What they did is they got a bunch of these girls to march during the Macy Day, Macy's Day Parade. And at one point, they told all the press that they were going to do this. At one point, the women lifted up their dresses and like pulled cigarettes out of their garters or whatever and started smoking in front of all these reporters who were snapping pictures. And so the reporters put that in all these newspapers. Women's, women want the right to smoke. Now, all of a sudden, what Bernays did or what the cigarette companies did is they tied into the DNA of the women's rights movement smoking. So now smoking becomes a, an, empowerment, a, an empowerment and a sign of feminism. And all of a sudden, women start smoking. And it totally fucking works. So, Jesus yeah, Christ. yeah, it totally works. So, so oh it's like, God, so stuff so like, creepy. and that was a long time ago, man. So, so creepy. that was a long time ago. So they started studying, you know, they started studying. It's just like, imagine like somebody who heard sheep or imagine somebody who <clears throat> is in charge of any kind of animal, a beekeeper, for example, or anyone who's in charge of controlling animals. They're experts. They know how to like, they know how to do like turkey hunters are the same way. They know how to do turkey calls in just a perfect way to, to make a turkey appear and to blast it. So I think that people put a lot of money into studying human perception, the way people work. And I think maybe they, the, what, what we think, the amount of control that we think we wield is, it's an illusion. I, I don't know. When I see those fucking Black Friday videos, you know, when you see the Black Friday videos of, Thousands of people stampeding through a Walmart, banging down the door of a fucking Walmart like zombies. Have you ever seen that video? Yeah, absolutely. When you see that, it's really, to me, it's like, man, I mean, maybe you and me and a few other people have these ideas, but in general, as a herd, it seems like they've gotten people so doped up and dumbed down that uh, I, I, I don't know that they're making too many mistakes.